Hello and welcome to Get Started Fast with Avid Sibelius for Educators, presented by Avid Blogs. My name is Katie Wardrobe from Midnight Music and I run workshops and online courses, especially for music teachers, in how to use Sibelius and other software applications in an education setting. I've also been a copyist and arranger for more than 20 years. This eight-part series will cover the special education features that Sibelius offers teachers and their students. In this first lesson, we'll look at the ways Sibelius can help you organise and analyse your scores and help you to work collaboratively with others. The comments feature is a very simple but highly effective way to communicate with your students within a score. It allows you to add a sticky note with a text comment at a specific place. There are two ways to add a comment to a score. The first option is to go to the Review tab and click on New Comment or use the shortcut Shift-Alt-C or Shift-Option-C on a Mac. Click in the score where you want the comment to appear. Sibelius will automatically add your name to the top of the sticky note and you can type your comment. When you're done, press the Escape key. If you need to reposition the comment, you can drag it to a new location. The second option is to select some measures and then click on the New Comment button. The benefit of this way is that Sibelius will automatically populate the sticky note with the instrument name and measure numbers, saving you the trouble of having to type those in manually. You can select measures in a single stave or in multiple staves and Sibelius will list all the included instruments. To edit an existing comment, simply double click in the body of the sticky note and alter the text. To delete a comment, simply select it and press delete. Comments added by you will all be the same colour. You can't alter the default colour chosen for each user, but you can manually change the colour of an existing comment. Select the comment first, then go to Home, Colour and choose Colour. Select the colour you want and click OK. When your student opens a score on their own computer, Sibelius will automatically select a different colour for any comments that they add to the score, making it easy to distinguish between comments created by different people. You can also change the username Sibelius uses for comments. Choose File, Preferences and go to the Other page. Check the Override Default Username box and type in a new name. The new name will be used for any subsequent comments that are created in the score. To tidy up your screen while working on a score, you can minimise comments by double-clicking on the comment header. This will reduce the size of the comment, leaving just the initials of the author showing. Double-click on it again to return it to full size. You can also turn off comments. Go to the View tab and in the Invisibles group, uncheck comments. Checking the box will toggle them back on again. Comments can also be useful when students need to analyse a score. They can use them to analyse form, melody, rhythm and harmony all within the score itself. Once you have a few comments in a score, you can easily navigate between them by using the Next Comment and Previous Comment buttons on the Review tab. To print a score with comments showing, go to View and in the Invisibles group, make sure Comments is turned on. You'll need to turn off any other options here that you don't want to be printed. Next, go to File, Print, scroll down and turn on View Options before printing your score. Like comments, highlights can also be used by students when analysing a score. For instance, to highlight a recurring motif. Highlights can also be used to remind students which sections they need to work on. To add a highlight, go to the Review tab, click on Highlight, and then click and drag along a section of the score. You can also select a passage first, and then click Highlight. You can only highlight a single instrument at a time. Other staves in the same passage can be highlighted individually. The default colour of the highlight is yellow, but you can change it by going to the Home tab, selecting colour, and choosing an alternative. 
Highlights can be resized by dragging the ends. They can also be moved by clicking and dragging the top or bottom edge, or by using the left and right arrow keys. To hide highlights in a score, go to the View tab and in the Invisibles group, uncheck Highlights. To delete a highlight altogether, click the edge and then press Delete. To remove all the highlights in a score simultaneously, go to the Home tab and choose Plugins, Remove all highlights. Like comments, you can choose whether or not highlights will be printed. Go to View and in the Invisibles group, make sure Highlights is turned on. Turn off any other options here that you don't want to be printed and then go to File, Print. Scroll down and turn on View options before printing your score. Sibelius' timeline feature shows landmarks in your score, such as rehearsal marks, key signatures, time signatures and tempo markings, and it allows you to navigate your score quickly. If the timeline is not showing, switch it on in View, Panels, Timeline. You can jump to any landmark or measure in your score by clicking on it. You can also make a selection in your score and it will highlight in the timeline. The timeline can be used as an analysis or organisational tool. Add some text using the Musical Structure option to identify different sections in a score. To do this, go to the Text tab and in the Styles menu, scroll down to General and choose Musical Structure Text. Type the word and press Escape. The word will then show up in the timeline in the other text lane. The timeline is also useful for giving you a bird's eye view of any comments that have been added to a score. Comments appear as icons in the timeline and you can hover your mouse over the icon to read the complete text. That wraps up the first Get Started Fast with Avid Sibelius for Educators lesson. In the next lesson, we'll look at how you can use the versions feature in Sibelius to easily keep track of the compositional process. To watch the entire Get Started Fast with Sibelius for Educators series, join us at avid.com forward slash Sibelius Educators.